Hello, movie lovers. Today I want to talk about a 1975 film, Hester Street, that Kino Lorber uh, released a few weeks ago. It's actually a Cohen, part of the Cohen film collection. Um, it's directed by Joe Micklin Silver. It's her first movie. <clears throat> and the star, Carol Kane, on the cover, who is absolutely superb. Uh, she got an Oscar nomination, which is really incredible for this kind of low budget under the radar kind of movie uh, and this is a it's, it's advertised as a new 4k restoration <clears throat> and let me tell you it, it looks absolutely superb to my untutored eyes this, this movie looks magnificent uh, and it's a story of immigration set at the turn of the century we meet a young man who is in america uh, in new york city um, he has been in, uh, in America for about three years. He's assimilated. He is, he is a Russian Jewish immigrant, uh, but he wants to be a Yankee. He's a, he's a good looking guy. He's a ladies man. He has girlfriends, uh, but he also has a wife and child back in Russia. He was going to send for them eventually. Three years have gone by and she has been left in the care of the man's uh, father who has died so now she has to come to America and then when she comes he takes one look at her and uh, whereas he has assimilated he's becoming an American all his friends that he hangs out with are are uh, also eager to become Americans and she his wife uh, his son his wife has uh, is a total reminder of the past. She wears the traditional wig that um, that uh, married Jewish women wore. Uh, he doesn't like anything about her, <laughs> uh, and uh, and she is of course amazed at the difference in him. He sh shaved off his beard. Uh, he looks like an American. He talks the lingo. She cannot talk it, um, and. Uh, the movie is basically in this, the wife is played by Carol Kane, and, and the movie is about how she adjusts. How does she adjust to this situation where the husband is a womanizer, continues to have his girlfriends, doesn't pay any attention to her at all, but, but she gradually learns how to gain the power in this, in this relationship. And of course, Carol Kane, absolutely superb in this role. Um, and uh, all the other actors are as well. They're just, uh, there's just, uh, uh, as Joan McLean Silver says, in, in, in she's, she's in lots of the uh, supplements. Uh, it was just a miracle. And, and, and it's her first film, and she learned that she loved working with actors. Um, and so she gets great performances, by and large, for, from everybody. And uh, another uh, another star of the film is is Hester Street itself, and and they had taken over I think it was Morton Street uh, in the village I think off of Seventh Avenue. They took took a whole block. They only had a three hundred fifty thousand dollar budget, and over ten percent of it was just for this uh, uh, shoot on, on Hester Street. I think they spent four and a half days there. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but, I mean, it's the hustle, the bustle, the way they use the actors, all the props that were set up. And it's especially a kind of a liberating moment. These, these scenes on History Street are kind of liberating moments because we see these immigrants in such confined spaces, in such small, almost, almost like closet-level rooms in which, they, in which they live their interior lives. And then they could get out and there was uh, people everywhere, horses and... Um, uh, and uh, it's, uh, so Hester Street itself is, is one of the stars of the film, and this was an independent production, um, uh, and it, it very much um, and uh, it, it was they did, had decided. Joe Micklin Silver, her husband, is the producer of the film. Uh, he was a real estate developer, a very successful businessman. Uh, Joe Micklin Silver had made uh, some short films that got a lot of uh, positive attention, but when she tried to get a job in in a film studios, the, the, you know, they were blatantly said, you know, women can't direct movies. <laughs> it's just too big of a hassle to try to sell a movie directed by a woman. 
she was outraged by it, her husband was outraged by it, and he said, well, I'll, I'll arrange the financing, I'll produce the movie. And one of the reasons that every, nobody wanted to do it, do this particular movie, was that they insisted on doing it in black and white and maintaining the Yiddish dialogue. Now, most of the movie is in English, but uh, it, uh, there are many scenes where there is Yiddish, Yiddish dialogue, and of course it is subtitled, but you know, subtitles, Americans aren't gonna wanna look at a black and white film with subtitles. Um, so she, um, so they, they produced the film themselves, and then after it was done, they couldn't find anybody who wanted to release it. You know, even though it got positive, oh, it's a good movie, but you know, I can't sell this film. And then some of the uh, production or, or the uh, release companies said that independent release companies, none of the studios wanted it at all. They just wanted to open it in big cities where there would be significant Jewish populations. And they, neither of the Silvers wanted that. They wanted this to be a wide release movie. How are they going to do that? Um, and uh, uh, Silver, uh, Silver's husband um, called John Cassavetes in, in uh, Los Angeles. Now they are living in his businesses now in New York City. And he, had, he knew that Cassavetes' film, previous film, Woman Under the Influence, that Cassavetes had distributed himself. So he called them, and Cassavetes very helpful, says, I've got a couple guys here, I'll send them out to you, they'll explain how you can release a film yourself. So, um, and also Eli Kazan had a bit of a hand in this too, because Joan Micklin Silver's, um, one of her best friends was Barbara Loden, who was an actress and made a, a terrific film called Wanda. And she, at that time, she was married to Ilya Kazan. So uh, Barbara Loden asked uh, her husband to look at the film. He loved it, but he gave some really, what Joe Micklin Silver said was some very good uh, advice on how to tighten up the beginning of the film. So they were able to get it released wide. It became a, a big success. It got a great review in New York Times, the LA Times. Um, and you would think, well, she's on her way, but it, it, for a woman director in, 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 in the United States in the 1970s, that, that, that was a tough go-to. And uh, she, her, Micklin, Joan Micklin Silver's next film was uh, a TV, a short film. I remember seeing it when it came out because it was part of, uh, of uh, PBS's uh, short story, famous short stories. I think uh, Bernice Bob's Her Hair was the name of it. I think that was a F. Scott Fitzgerald story with Shelley Duvall. Then she made uh, Chilly Scenes of Winter and um, Crossing Delancey Street, Between the Lines, also in there. And those four movies, I think, are just terrific movies. I mean, uh, she, uh, subsequent to that, she basically made TV movies. She never did get a firm grip on being able to long-term make the films uh, that, that she might have wanted to make, but she did stay busy. But like I say, those four films are really, and plus Bernice Bob's Her Hair, that's a great short film. I'm particularly crazy about Chilly Scenes of Winter, which was with John Hurd and, uh, and uh, Mary Beth Hurt. I think it was Gloria Graham's last film, Crossing Delancey Street with Amy Irving. Um, uh, that's not on Blu-ray. Now, there's a little twilight time of, uh, of, uh, of Chilly Scenes of Winter, very expensive, but you know, pricey is still available. Um, hopefully someday another studio will put out Chili Scenes of Winter Brigade. But there's, there is a really common um, theme through the movies about the, the perilous nature of love and just relationships. And, um, and Joe Milkham Silver is really good at, at, uh, with actors and getting terrific performances. And we, as I say, we get a lot of uh, Joe Mickle and Silver, and there, luckily there are some really good uh, supplements in this movie. Uh, we get, well, for the one thing, um, uh, 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 Joe Mickle and Silver and her husband uh, do the commentary. And then we get interviews uh, from, uh, I believe they're around 2004 for the DVD, and that's been ported over interviews with her and a separate one with her husband and one with, um, uh, Carol Kane, and um, 
And then we get a, a, a far more recent, a journal, we lost Joe Mickle and Silver, I think in 2020, so, but it, it looks like it was shortly before that where she um, gives two interviews, one on uh, Hester Street uh, specifically, and then uh, one on her career in, in, in total. And she's a great interview, and um, uh, it's all uh, altogether a great story of her career. Uh, like I say, I'm, I'm a big fan of hers, and um, it's, it's good to see um, this uh, uh, continued interest in her movies. And, and Hester Street is, you know, I'm, I'm talking about a, you know, Jewish immigration. <laughs> I th we all come from immigration. Uh, all our, all our uh, ancestors at one time or another went through the same kind of experiences that uh, Carol Kane goes through in, in Hester Street and um, <clears throat> immigrants in general. Uh, so it, had that, it has that general, uh, this, uh, that appeal to a general audience um, uh, rather than just to an ethnic audience. And, um, and of course the, the uh, performances, the production, like I say, the film looks absolutely spectacular on, uh, in black and white. Um, uh, so um, uh, I've, I've taken a little few days rest. I usually do a uh, video every other day, but I, I'm, I'm, uh, I had to rest up because uh, next up I'm going to do six consecutive days, at least that's the plan, of, uh, of uh, films again from 1972, part of my series of films from 1972. I've, I've done a couple of them. Uh, for the month of April, I'm going to do uh, a daunting one. It's going to be on the European auteurs, the European art film in 1972, which was a big thing, but I'm going to have to tackle some heavyweights. So I'm going to have to tackle Bergman, Fellini, Eric Romer, Bernardo Bertolucci, a couple more. Uh, so they, that should be starting in, in, um, in a couple of days. Okay, thanks a lot. Everybody who managed to listen to me, comments are very welcome. Take care.